Bishop George Johnson Jr. with your midday motivation. The title of this midday motivation is Fight Back. Years ago when I was in grade school, it was a kid on the playground and he went to school with me. His name was Smokey. I was so scared of Smokey. Smokey was bigger than me. Smokey was darker than me. Smokey was stronger than me. It just seemed like everything that Smokey did was better than what I did. And not only that, he was on the playground every day terrorizing kids. I mean, terrorizing me. He would take my head and mush it against the monkey bars and push me down and I would fall. Man, I was so afraid of smoking. So I went home one day and I told my dad, I said, dad, would you teach me how to fight? And my dad told me two things. He said, number one, if you ever start a fight, I'm going to give you a spanking. And number two, if you ever run away from a fight, I'm going to give you a spanking. And that was all the advice my dad gave me. If I ever start a fight or if I ever run away from a fight, I was going to get a spanking. But luckily, I had a cousin named Destry. And one day, me and Destry were sitting there talking, and I asked Destry, I said, man, will you teach me how to fight? And Destry said, sure, I will. And we sat down, and he taught me some different things. And, and he said, this is what you do when this is happening, and this is what you do when this is happening. He taught me how to fight, and I thank him to this day for that. Went back to school. Here comes Smokey again, pushing on me and everything, and, and doing all that kind of stuff, slapping me upside my head, slapping me in my face. Just a big bully. I was so afraid of him, I didn't fight back. But one Saturday, I'll never forget it. I said, I'm tired of being pushed around. And Smokey was also in my neighborhood. And he came over to my home. And we were all sitting out there. And he wanted me, and my, my nickname was Peanut, to be the butt of the jokes again. And he started picking on me again, pushing me around again. And this time, he put me in the headlock and began to twist my head and twist my neck till I couldn't breathe. I got so upset, I turned my mouth to where Smokey's side was, and I took a big chunk out of his side with my mouth. I bit him with everything that I had. When he turned me loose, I went to wailing. I put everything that my cousin Destry taught me into practice. I began to wail on his head and fight back, and I realized one thing. Smokey really couldn't fight. He was just terrorizing the kids that were on the playground, and he mastered fear. He had everybody afraid of him, but when I stood up to him and I took that big chunk out of his side and I began to punch him upside his head, I realized Smokey really couldn't fight, and I beat him up that day. Many of you are facing situations and challenges, and you're thinking they're so tough. I want to let you know they're not as tough as you think they are. All you got to do is muscle up enough strength and decide to fight back. Maybe you're fighting some type of illness in your body, some type of sickness, and the doctor has told you it's over, and he wants you to throw in the towel and give up on your health. You need to look at your family, look at your children, and refuse to stop fighting. You need to fight back. One of my favorite speakers says this, if you know the why for living, you can endure almost anyhow. I'm going to change that and say you got to know the why for fighting. Maybe the enemy has told you that your dream will never happen. Maybe he's told you that your vision will never come to pass instead of you sitting there folding your arms and not doing nothing. You need to pick your fist back up and you need to punch the devil right in his mouth and say, my dream shall live. My vision shall come to pass. Stop being building and you need to start fighting back. Because I'm here to tell you, if you fight, you will win. One of my favorite scriptures says this. You need to fight the good fight of faith. And the only fight that is good is the fight that you're winning. And if you punch back and decide to not be somebody's punk anymore, you will win. Today, make a decision. Get up. Fight back for your family. Fight back for your health. Fight back for your dream. Fight back for your vision. Fight back with everything.
everything you got. 